These days, it's easy to take being connected for granted. For disaster relief workers or soldiers in remote locations, having access to high bandwidth communications isn't always convenient, but it is critical. A small firm in Huntsville, Alabama has leveraged technology developed through NASA's Small Business Innovative Research, or SBIR program, to provide inflatable satellite communication systems that offer a unique advantage over other systems. The rigid antennas require you to take them out of their crates, bolt them together, uh, you know, put a bunch of structures together and assemble it. Whereas ours, you just inflate it, set it, and point it to the satellite. And so it's relatively easy. It, it saves, it's a lot easier than other systems. Gator Technologies' inflatable antenna is made from a tough, flexible fabric and is held to the ground by plates and cables. A blower keeps the ball inflated, and the air pressure shapes a flexible, reflective fabric mesh dish inside the ball into a precise parabolic contour. The portability of the Gator Com systems makes them ideal for hard-to-reach locations. If you need to set an antenna up on a roof, and the roof is a 15-story building, and you only got two cases, you just take it up an elevator and then walk up the, through the rooftop with two cases versus having to rent a crane or something to get a, a big rigid dish on top of the roof. NASA has a legacy of expertise with inflatable structures that goes back to the first communication satellites. In the late 1990s, SBIR awards to SRS Technologies, now known as Nexol, from NASA Glenn Research Center, led to improved inflatable structures technology for solar concentrators for power generation. Later, researchers in NASA's Space Communications and Navigation or SCAN program leveraged those early efforts through a Phase 3 SBIR contract to SRS that focused on advancing inflatable antenna technology for communications. During the next few years, SRS and other NASA partners continued to mature inflatable antenna technologies that could be used in future NASA missions. In 2004, Gator Technologies teamed up with SRS to successfully develop a Gator ground-based inflatable antenna, which was exclusively licensed to Gator in 2006. The first Gator prototype was deployed after Hurricane Katrina, where it connected survivors and emergency responders with the outside world when other communications were still knocked out. Paul Giro knew right away that he had something special. But before Gator could commercialize their inflatable SETCOM systems, the company needed to get a clear and accurate picture of the antenna's performance. It's a large, relatively large structure. It's eight feet in diameter. And you have to measure the accuracy of the antenna to within, say, a tenth of an inch. So to measure that large structure with that degree of accuracy requires some precise measurement tools. The Technology Transfer and Partnership Office at Glenn Research Center helped Gator tap into the center's expert knowledge and world-class antenna test range facilities through a series of Space Act agreements. After a few refinements, Gator received the world's first FCC license for an inflatable ground antenna transmitter and receiver. Since then, the firm has continued to work with NASA Glenn to characterize and refine more systems, some small enough to fit in a backpack others large enough to support an entire operations command center. Today, Gator's innovative satellite systems are supporting U.S. military operations, medical missions, remote TV broadcasting, and disaster relief efforts around the world. And for the first responders who find themselves in three feet of snow in Idaho, or 110 degree weather in Afghanistan, critical access to high bandwidth communications is becoming much easier.